Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing Let's Build a Zoo. Let's Build a Zoo is exactly what it sounds like. We are going to build a zoo together in this nice pixelated world. Let's Build a Zoo is a simulation strategy and management game in a sandbox environment. This game is about constructing and decorating your zoo from the grounds up. You get to pick the animals that you want to have in your zoo. You get to hire your staff and also have some interesting options at animal breeding. Have you ever tried breeding a capybara and donkey together? Nope, neither have I. How about a monkey and an alligator? Nope, well, neither have I. Good news for you, that is possible in this game with over 300,000 different types of animals. There are also some very interesting choices matter options in this game. Let's start a new game and check it out together. This avatar select is actually who we are gonna look like. They all look kind of similar to me so I always pick a random one. Let's see, a name for our zoo today. Right in front of me I actually have some ginseng tea and it kind of looks like yellow water so I'm just gonna call it yellow water. <laughs> All right that's a pretty crap name for a zoo but let's roll with it. Yay! All right here we go. Here's our first task. Kathleen, our investor, gave us a new task, and that is to visit the management office. Hey there, my name is Kathleen, and I'm currently your zoo's sole investor. Could you come down to the management office for a quick chat, please? Usually that's quite scary when your boss or investor wants you to have a quick chat with them. All kinds of requests end up here, and I know you will want to keep on top of them. Try viewing a new task now. The new task that we got from her was to build an enclosure. Every zoo needs animals. But before you can take a delivery of any animal, you need to build an enclosure. Let's start building one. I kind of feel like doing the grass enclosure today. Task complete. We built our first enclosure. Great. Now that we have an enclosure, we can start the real business of finding animals to make our zoo one step closer to becoming the best zoo on planet Earth. That's very high hopes for me. I appreciate that, Kathleen. Now Timbo, the Australian zookeeper, has a new task for us. Once I started playing this game, I quickly realized that you'll never run out of things to do because there's always new tasks and new quests. Good day. I have a gift for you. Visit me in my zoo and I can tell you all about it. Just find the Australian zoo on the world map. I've actually never visited Australia in real life. That's kind of like a bucket list item for me. See what Timbo wants. Truth. We had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month, and we just don't know what to do with them. I heard that you were starting a new zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy-eared verbals. What do you say? This guy's basically trying to shove two rabbits our way. Since we have our nice little enclosure built, I'm gonna say get, get, get. We have a little boy one and a little female one. All right, let's return to our zoo. Select an enclosure to deliver your new animals to. Ooh, look at our rabbits arriving in this nice uh put in cardboard box hopefully it's not a cardboard box i'm a lot more comfortable than that the new task for us from kathleen is open for business it's probably time to start to try earning a living let's open the zoo so that paying customers can start turning up that makes sense to me we currently only have a thousand and five hundred dollars let's open it right up here we go open zoo Ooh, grand opening. We made it to the local newspaper. The zoo that has been named Yellow Water. Honestly, I don't know if I'd ever visit a zoo named Yellow Water, but uh, this zoo was made possible through an investment from Kathleen K, a renowned international business mogul. The management of the zoo said, we hope to become a big success bring joy to animal lovers everywhere while also being financially responsible to our investors, maybe even buying them out and gaining our own independence one day. Here we go, our first visitors. It kind of looks like a yellow school bus. I wonder if they're all children. Oh, no, we have a maybe a bald guy here. Whee! Let's see who our first visitors are. Dorothy, I love her hairstyle. It's kind of cute. She has energy levels. Energy levels are for, ah, walking. Probably got to set up some benches for them soon. Satiation is, oh, we have to build some food shops. Hydration for drink shops. Got to get some stands up and running. Oh, it seems like we filled up her animal bar a little bit after she saw these rabbits. I have been to better zoos, but this one is okay. Hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research, and I am here to 
offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days and we can accept or reject it. I am going to work on building that right away because here in this research hub is where we'll unlock some really cool stuff. And here we can hire Anderson who is already smiling. Look how happy he is. And we can set his salary. If we pay him less, his politeness will get even lower, like an absolute bare minimum. But if we pay him more, his job satisfaction rate will go up and so will the politeness. I kind of want very polite people at the zoo, but considering we only have this amount of money and his salary costs this much, I'll take that risk. We'll give him a big salary boost. And then we have a new task over here. Research an item in the research hub. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the game. We can unlock the desert enclosure, the animal enrichment pack, which is like small balls, I guess. The desert enclosure will be more suited for certain animals and the park bench for people to sit and chill here longer. Or do we want some decorational trees? Since we have rabbits already, I want to enrich their lives a little bit. So I'm going to go for the balls. And after we unlock that, we can start seeing the outlines of other stuff that we can do in the future. Here I see a recycling center, incinerator, a furnace. Oh my god, and there's a processor with a piggy icon and what looks like bacon strips. That was one of the most fun parts of this game that I discovered so far. You have the option to bring this game to be the kind of zoo that you want to play. Let's build some new stuff for the people. Got shops? We got facilities? Ooh, what's in the shops? Cola vendor. I want to build one right in the entrance. And a snack vendor. How about a gift stand right in the center over here too? Again, we're going to pay our top bucks just to keep her politeness higher and job satisfaction higher. And this is one of my favorite parts of about this game. You get to choose choices that will change the outcome of your zoo. Lost puppy. The animal keeper told me that we have found a lost dog, a beautiful Labrador. We could call the number on its collar and tell its owner, or we can use this as an opportunity to earn more money and expand this fledgling zoo. Why don't we dress the dog up as a lion and use it to amaze your visitors? So we want to spend $50 to hold an advertising campaign to find its owner and gain five golden morality points, or dress it up like a lion and put it on display and earn five evil morality points. Game, I think I'm gonna go with the evil morality and see where it brings us. Your choices matter. The morality choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you can choose and may be reflected in certain people's behavior. Choose wisely. Here on the happy golden looking morality points, I see that there's a farm where growing vegetables here. But here where it looks like it's an evil morality option, I see what looks like a possible chicken burger stand. Looks like maybe a bacon stand here. Oh my god. Here is our dog lion. Time to unlock the nursery. You select Active breeding to discover new animal types and help map each species. This is where the fun starts. Breeding new <laughs> animal types. I see that our processor requires a warehouse in order to build it, and the warehouse is here. It also requires you to have enough of those evil morality points before you can unlock it. So it seems like if we want to check out what the processor does, we have to get even more evil than we did. Oh my god, our dog lion just said bark bark. I feel like people are gonna find out. <gasps> we can adopt pigs and different varieties of rabbits. Nice. This seems like a very wild zoo right now. I have tons of rabbits in here, all different species. I have a dog and I have two incoming pigs too. So you may have heard that a goose can be quite er, difficult. Well, let me tell you, that most certainly is not the case and is in no way the reason we're trying to trade a pair of them for just one rabbit. No, not at all. Oh god, this guy totally figured me out. He said, no way is that a lion. I think it's because my dog is saying arf arf. I mean, but he's pretty happy with me. He has four happiness stars. He's really thirsty though, and all he needs is a Coke to maybe satisfy him and bring him to five stars. Due to the growing popularity of the zoo, the mayor has approved plans for expansion. Our mayor is very delighted with the zoo and enthused by the possibilities that the destination brings in terms of both entertainment and education. 
Now I am so curious to think about what the town is gonna feel when I start bringing the food processors into the zoo. Now that we have a whole bunch of animals, I think it's time to start the breeding. Let's see what crazy combos we can come up with. Possible offspring unknown. And when you're breeding your new types of animals, you can choose the nursing period. Nursing will ensure that the baby will have a longer lifespan. Extending their nursing time will give good morality points. Removing the nursing time will give evil morality points but you'll be able to display the baby sooner which will attract more visitors i think you guys already know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change it to no nursing period time i think it's time to start buying some land and expanding our business let's see how much it costs are you sure you want to buy this land for 300 dollars for only 300 dollars definitely oh look at all of this space we have Whoa, oh, and subway pack. Subways are essential for larger zoos and allow your staff and visitors to quickly get from one place to another. Oh my god, here we go. Here's where the decision matters again. Factory, called the abattoir. Turn live animals into dead animals. The best way to get meat quickly. Yes, our breeding was a success. Now we have a tradable Ryan. Oh, we have another choice. Commission a fake animal. Hey, I noticed that you have geese in your zoo, but you know what's more exciting? A peafowl. This guy kind of looks like Dracula, but his name's Salvador. It's technically just a goose that's colorful with a fancy tail. I can make the tail from paper mache. It will be great. I get to practice my skills and your visitors will love to see a more exotic bird. If we accept it, we get five more of those evil morality points or we could just straight up reject the offer. Paint and dress up your goose to look like a peafowl. Scamimals earn you negative morality points. You guys already know what I'm gonna go for, right? Let's become more evil. <laughs> there we go. Here is our peafowl named Lulu. I mean, I've gotta say, Lulu looks a lot better now than they did before. If we exchange one bunny, we can get two capybaras. That's a good trade for me. I'm gonna say yes. Let's trade them off. Yay! Our first capybaras. Now that we have more animals, I'm gonna up our nurseries so that we can breed more animals at a quicker pace. Look at our hustling and bustling zoo. People are piling up to use that cola and snack machine. They're also piling up for our gift shop. Look at these swarms of people coming into our zoo. How do you guys think of our zoo so far? We have a people. We have a dog that's dressed like a lion. We have capybaras, tons of different rabbits. We have our cola stand, gift shop, a little tiki shelter for everyone, a bathroom now, and also two nursing stations, currently breeding some new types of animals. Time has flew by and I've already played this game for about two hours now. I'm really curious to know your thoughts. What do you guys think of the game? Does this look like the kind of game that you might enjoy? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this gameplay and you already know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That way I'll know to create more content like this for you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see more content from me, please be sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. That way you can stay notified of when I post next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again really soon. Bye!